One thing that I definitely, that part I could stand behind Teresa. This next part, I really couldn't. When <laughs> Teresa brings up, and actually technically this was Rachel Fuda who brought this up, but it was the question of, are your kids close? And Teresa's like, well, yeah, they used to be until Antonia like didn't show up to Melania Sweet 16. And then Melissa looks at her and goes, are you really going to bring up my da- Don't do that. Don't bring up my daughter's name. And she's like, what? Did I say anything bad? Girls, did I say anything bad? You know, she like gets into it. And they're like, Ugh, we're not touching this with the 10 foot pole. But Melissa was not happy. They're going head to head over her bringing up her daughter. What were you thinking in this moment? I think at the I think at the end of the day it was just another like face palm moment with Teresa. Like I know Teresa didn't mean any harm and didn't mean to say anything bad about Antonia when she mentioned her name, but at the same time you have to understand that like anytime you bring up a kid, like these moms are going to be on defense mode, right? Like they're going to get sensitive about it because that's what they care about most in this world. So it didn't surprise me that Mel- Melissa was in her feelings after Teresa brought up Antonia, but I don't think Teresa like really meant anything by it. I think she was just saying, yeah, they were close for a long time but antonia has you know didn't go to melania's birthday party so since then there hasn't been as much closeness like i could see what she was trying to say but you know anytime you bring up a kid and you do kind of put the guilt on them a little bit just by saying like well antonia didn't show up to this birthday party like it does kind of shift blame a little bit but i know Teresa didn't mean to say anything bad about her but girl come on like you know melissa's probably gonna feel some type of way after you bring up her daughter like you know you got to use common sense here a little bit and the irony over the fact that Melissa just had that conversation going through the drive through with Antonia talking about how, you know, you know that when your dad and his sister, they get into arguments that never falls on you, right? And then fast forward to Ireland and it's like, well, Antonia. And it's <laughs> like, oh, shit, Teresa, not that Antonia. But do you think that this is, and I, I'm curious because I saw both on Twitter Twitter's like going down the freaking rabbit hole, y'all. It's wild. But I did see both. And some people found it extremely hypocritical because when Jackie brought up the Gia Judice analogy, also the analogy was a terrible analogy. I mean, the analogy was Gia doing drugs, right? So it, it was just terrible. She shouldn't have ever used that analogy. But is it hypocritical When Teresa flips out when somebody mentions her daughters or her kids and not, you know, expecting Melissa to freak out or no, because they're two totally different situations. And you could tell one was, I mean, how do you feel? completely different situations. You can't even compare the two. I think, of course, in general, you just shouldn't bring up the kids, obviously. But come on now, you're talking about this horrible analogy about Gia doing drugs to... Antonia just not showing up to a birthday party. I mean, they're completely different situations. And Jackie was trying to hurt Teresa by bringing up that analogy. Teresa wasn't trying to hurt Melissa or Antonia. She was just answering Rachel's question. So they're completely different situations here. Like you, excuse me, like you can't even compare the two if you ask me. Do you feel like Melissa's reaction to the sort of deflection or using Antonia as an example of why maybe the kids aren't close. Was her reaction appropriate? Or do you think that she kind of took that one a little bit too hard? Because she didn't even, to be fair, her reaction was not big. You could tell that she was annoyed. You could see it in her face. But when she was talking to Joe Gorga, it was like, oh, she's pissed. Yeah. Oh, this is a tough one because I think, I think honestly, like this standalone moment isn't that big of a deal, but I think just given the fact that they're just on such rough terms right now, I think any little thing that either one of them were going to do is going to hurt the other in some capacity. So I think it's just given the fact that we're going through this wedding drama, we're going through the drama of not inviting Melissa's mother, you know, all of the, the pizza gate, like everything is going on all at once. So I think it was just in that moment that Teresa said this and Melissa was like, oh my gosh, like I another thing that's like pissing me off like so I kind of get where Melissa's coming from where she's like it's just not stopping like I don't know what else to do like it just feels like every time we hang out something else is said that hurts you know that that hurts me um so I think just given how toxic their relationship is at this moment I wasn't that surprised that Melissa took it so um took it kind of hard um but I think if it was just a standalone thing and if they were like on good terms she probably wouldn't have been as upset with Joe on the phone but I think just given everything that's going on it was bound to add it was like another thing to add to the list of problems that they have right now and I think Melissa made a great point too 
because when Teresa said, I just want them to be close. I want the kids to be close. And Melissa pretty much said, then let's lead by example. If you wanted them to be close, we should be showing a great example. You should have had me in your wedding. You should have. And then it starts, it's reopening all of the cans. But I did agree with Melissa. It's like, if you're going to have, Chanel Ion, who is absolutely amazing from Dubai, who you just met at the wedding, and she's now bringing her son. If you're going to have Jennifer, who you just met on the show like a few years ago, and she's one of your bridesmaids, like if you're having a few of these people, I mean, you know, this is a little messy, Teresa, but she also is a housewife and she gets paid for the mess. So I don't think she's mad at it. So we can't be either. Exactly. And at the end of the day, it's her special day. She wants the people that she wants there and you can't argue with that. So it is what it is. I agree. All right. So after we go jewelry shopping and all of the women are airing out their grievances, we get to another lunch, another lunch full of cocktails and well, just shitty conversations, really. But we get Polaris. We get Polaris. This time we're talking about Dolores and Paul. If they would get married, the rings and talking to her about rings and their celebrity name Polaris. <laughs> are you co-signing this? I think it's cute. You know, I know for me, I'm just really happy for Dolores. You could just tell just the way she talks about him and this, she's in a love bubble, you know, taking from Teresa's iconic phrase, you know, last season and what and whatnot. Like, it's very obvious Dolores is in a love bubble right now and she's really head over heels. And it's obvious that she just really loves the way Paul takes care of her. And I think that's amazing. Like we can all agree that Dolores deserves a little love and affection after everything she's gone through in her life. So I'm just happy for her. And the fact that they are even talking about getting married and stuff like that, I think it's great. But I love how she's kind of like, I really can't do a Teresa style wedding. Like I'm just trying to elope and then come back. And if I'll just tell you I'm married and that's it. I love that. I mean, and on top of that, it kind of looked like, I don't know if Teresa's face was just, I mean, it was like this. This literally is what her face looked like. <laughs> when when they were having this conversation and I couldn't tell if it was the the part where she was like why are we talking about her potentially getting married when I'm sitting here and I'm actually getting married or if it was just she had her mouth open looking in awe because she was just curious what was going to come out of Dolores's mouth I I couldn't tell like are we getting a little annoyed here because this trip's supposed to be about you but it's really not or are we just listening Teresa we can't read your facials yeah, I think Teresa was just listening, to be honest, in that moment. I think she was just sitting there. Like, that that whole, like, yeah, lunch that they had was very low-key. Like, it just felt like they were just sitting and chit-chatting and just talking. And I love that. I think they were just, like, in the moment, and there wasn't any craziness that was actually happening for once. <laughs> fair, fair. What were your thoughts when Melissa did call Joe? And for the first time this season, we hear, I don't know, Joe. I don't know if we we'll even be like, if we should go to this wedding. And he's like, well, that's exactly what they want. They don't want us to go because then we're, we look like the bad guys. I mean, this is the first time we're hearing this. Did you think about that at all? Or were you just like, we already know you're not going to the wedding girl. <laughs> 